Right, morning world. I thought I'd pop down here just to give you a bit of an example of what goes on. We got a development here that used to be a pub in the good old days. Oh, this is perfect timing. Look at this. This is the sort of thing you get going on. People just uh, sorting themselves out because there's plenty of room to move around there and not block the road. But you got a roundabout with lots of traffic coming from all directions. So the logical thing to do is to say, right, OK, let's build a block of houses here. Let's build five houses on the corner where the access point is going to be a roundabout that is always is just constant traffic. Double yellows protecting it because there's just no room to park. We can look down the road here, Bolton Road, you know, and it, it's crammed, right, both sides. Where they can park, they are parked. So this is what Tory councils do, you know, when, they, when they've got mates who do this and do that and who want to have a bit of this and want to have a bit of that, they just give permission and allow it to occur. Logic for me would be that could be in a small car park, multi-storey car park, to alleviate the problem back here, and you probably make more money from it in the long run. Um, but no, I'm not thinking like that. Let's, let's buy a bit of land, let's get it change of use, from something that was not useful for the community into something that serves a few people that are going to make a few quid out of it. So there you go. If you want more of this, vote Tory next time. If you want to change things, then vote for somebody independent. Vote for somebody who stands up for what they believe in and not what, you know, a, t a party line so that they can pretend to toe the party line so they can do stuff like this. All right? Cheers, guys.